We are back on Morning Line. Thanks for joining us. Holly Ladd is with us. She is um, a holistic coach, uh, you know, lifestyle living, the big picture of all that. If you want to join us, sometimes it's slow the day after Memorial sure. Day, but if someone wants to call in, 737-7587. Um, I noticed you brought a little flyer along. Now it says I did. Dine out, out healthy. Healthy. All right. Um, and all right, that's on your website now, right? That is a website, dineouthealthy.com. Oh, that is. Oh, that is. Find your health. All right, I was talking with Amy Watson and Steve about this earlier, and it's it's like you try to eat well, and you can control it at home, but when you go out sometimes, all of a sudden, you see certain things on the menu and mm -hmm. other places. Maybe you're more inclined to celebrate, try something different. You don't cook at home as mm -hmm. often, and then you order things that later you have eaters regret, mm -hmm. which is, you know, I try not to, but I mean, What's the tip on that? I mean, again, I, you're going to tell me, Nick, you just have to have willpower and take a baby step. Right. But well, the first thing is, and this is why we developed the website, yeah. is that try to go to a restaurant that serves anything that you pick on their menu is going to be good for you in some way. So that okay. serves organic, it's local. It's tricky, but yeah. dineouthealthy.com has a list of over 45 or 50 Nashville area restaurants that are committed to serving better quality food. Okay, but you know, so, so many of those, I have to say, and I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about is, and, and that's great, there are several, but I think you know exactly what I'm saying, I that do. the farm to restaurant thing, and they're high-end, fancy restaurants where you get purple turnips, which really I could give a hoot about. I mean, I want to eat healthy stuff. It's like, we just pulled this purple turnip out of the garden out back, and we've braised it with, and I know it sounds great, but you're paying a fortune for some root food, all right, which is ridiculous, <laughs> because carrots aren't expensive. And and I know there's some fine chefs at a lot of these restaurants, but my point is, um, aside from splurging, I need to find affordable restaurants that do what you're saying, because well, I'm not going to go pay a fortune for a bunch of carrots. Absolutely, and that's why we developed this restaurant, because it is our um, aim to democratize eating health healthfully. Right. And there are actually a lot of places in Nashville that you can go and get a meal for ten, twelve dollars. That's a little more reasonable. That's a little more reasonable. Okay. That's a little bit better than what you're gonna get at, you know, fast food or mm -hmm. uh, you know, even like a chain yeah. sort of restaurant. Yeah. But if you find yourself I mean here's the thing about going eating going out. Mm -hmm. If you only go out to eat once a month or twice a month, eat what you want. Yeah, there I you mean, go. of course, be aware that that meal probably has 3,000 calories in it that mm -hmm. you're eating, but if you only do it once a month or twice a month, you're probably going to be okay. But the problem in our society is that we tend to eat out 60% of our meals, if not more. Mm -hmm. So if you're eating out that often, you need to be a savvy restaurant diner. So, you know, at breakfast, you know, order the oatmeal, the steel-cut oats, or the oatmeal as opposed to the What about the, the bear claw pancakes, at Panera? Or, yeah, you know, maybe that's Ouch. not the best choice. It's probably not, but boy, it tastes a lot better than the oatmeal. I'm sorry you disagree, but if you had a bear claw <laughs> and an oatmeal in front of me, I'm eating the bear claw. I'm just now. Well. Now, unless I want to be healthy. There you go. Okay, go on. I'm sorry for and interrupting you. And your clean body you. would actually want the oatmeal as opposed to the bear claw. Yes, you're right. But you're even right. an egg, even an omelet, you yeah, know? Yeah, but when you make your oatmeal, you throw a bunch of those little candy sprinkles and maple syrup <laughs> in there. Right. What? And chocolate chips? That doesn't yeah. make it Red help. Hots. <laughs> so, so good. I'm, it's what you buy. Well, people like potatoes. I'll add a potato for lunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if you just have a regular potato, yeah. sweet potato even, I know you're yeah. a big fan of that. But even a regular potato, I know they can be kind of starchy, right? But mm -hmm. but it's like, oh, I have just a potato, but then it's what you put on it. Right. So how much butter, oatmeal. how much sour cream, how much bacon, how much cheddar cheese. Yeah. How, you All know. of a sudden, that's no longer a healthy dish. It's no dish. longer a healthy dish. But so you go to a restaurant, you're looking okay. at a menu, um, always order a salad. Always start with a salad. Yeah, because then that'll... It'll fill you up, up, and all of a sudden you're like getting some good stuff in first. Right. So always order a salad first. Ask for the dressing on the side. Even better, ask for just a little olive oil and lemon juice. Okay. And they'll do that. Most restaurants can do that. All right. Then when you get to the main uh, courses, the entrees, you know, look for a fish or a chicken, something that's prepared, not fried like you were saying. We, mm -hmm. You know, the fried food is probably not the best option. Right, right. But something that's... Um, Roasted or sauteed or you know broiled or something like that, grilled, mm -hmm. and then instead of getting, you know, it'll come with a starch and a vegetable. Ask them for two vegetables as opposed to the starch and a vegetable. Right. So you can really yeah, they'll sub things they'll in, sub most, things of in most of the time. You know, you can so you have your your fish with some broccoli and some carrots. I mean, that's yeah. a great. You can do it. We can do it. It's just um, having the will just and the desire. Let's take a call from Danny. Danny, good morning. Yes. Uh, hey, Danny, how are you? Go ahead. Yes. Listen, Danny, I have a question. Okay. Uh, now, I was, I'm a 
uh, type 2 uh, diabetic and uh, I was tested and I had proteins in my urine and I am a meat eater and what do I need to do or what type of foods do I need to eat uh, to extract the uh, protein, proteins uh, out. Hmm. Okay. All right. So I don't know. I mean, she's again not a doctor, but right. maybe you can give him some suggestions. Dietary reason is this something you've ever dealt with before? I haven't. And again, I think this is something that you should consult with your physician about. But intuitively, I would um, say up the vegetables in your diet. I mean. Always, if we're increasing the vegetable intake on our diet, it's a good thing. And maybe uh, cut back on your meat a little bit. I'm um, just curious, Danny, what, what do you tend to eat? What, what is your diet like? Well, I've been eating uh, uh, a lot of fish. Okay. And, uh, uh, I drink a lot of coffee in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, that's, that's about it. You're a fish and coffee guy. Do you eat any vegetables much? Do you like tomatoes or lettuce or broccoli? Well, uh, green beans, uh, 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 maybe a little broccoli. So maybe she's right. I probably need to uh, eat a lot more vegetables. Uh. Yeah, I'm curious too. Is your fish usually fried? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I broil it. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. And. Uh, well, yeah, I think, yeah, you're like me in a way. I understand what he's saying, you know, the meats and stuff, and mm -hmm. you need to put some conscious thought into eating more vegetables. So yes. that might make him feel better. Yes, and it may help. I, I You know, I'm, I don't know exactly the science behind proteins in the urine and how to extract that and get it better. But intuitively, just even, you know, people that I work with with type 2 diabetes, we always try to get more vegetables and more fiber into the diet to help, you know, the system. Sure. I mean, right now is such a good time, too. Yeah, I'm thinking of the, the basic things, you, you know, like zucchini or some of the squashes coming in. I know mm -hmm. squash isn't for everyone, but I like mm -hmm. getting zucchinis and then putting those in there with onions that come out of the garden right now yeah. as well and just sauteing them, a little bit of olive oil, and yeah. then you put some salt and pepper and a little water and just let them boop, 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 until right. they get soft enough. And then I'll actually splurge a little bit and put a tiny bit of Parmesan cheese on the top That's of it. That's cool. And it is yum. Yeah. I can just eat that as a meal. Yeah. And the zucchini is so great. I don't know that there's probably not a ton of nutrition in zucchini like there is say in a dark green kale, but I, I'm sure there's fiber and mm -hmm. I, I, it's healthy for you. What would you say? I mean, zucchini. Yeah, no, zucchini squashes are very healthy is for you. Good, yeah, you know, they're going to have potassium, they're going to have minerals, they're going to have, you know, any vegetable is a good vegetable, in, yeah. in my okay. opinion. Sure. So uh, the better vegetables, obviously, are your leafy greens and your broccoli and your cabbage. Whereas, like, like I've asked you this before, the celery now, again, mm -hmm. is it a high fiber, obviously, but aside from that, celery. Is, is there a lot of nutrition in Actually, celery? yes. Celery really? is very, so very good for us. Mm -hmm. Really? So, so that simple celery stick that you always thought was just an innocuous crudite yeah. actually is really, There's really more. good for you. It's interesting. When you bite into celery, do you ever feel kind of like a numbing on Yeah. Your... Yeah. What is that? I mean, it's not like my mouth goes numb, but I'll bite into it and just a little bit. If you know, there's something in celery that does that, yeah, I don't think it's harmful. It's probably good for you. Mm -hmm. But what? what you... Well, celery does have um, nitrate. You know how there's um, nitrites in. Yeah, nit nit cuts. yeah, oh yeah, yeah, right. So celery yeah, yeah, has a natural version. Yeah. It's got sodium, you know, it's got some salt. Um, okay. So I'm not exactly sure what, I know exactly what you're talking about, though. Yeah, you that feel that kind of tingly. tingly thing when you eat it. Mm -hmm. I always just viewed celery as being a nice condiment to something, you know, well, right, heck, in, in grade school it was always peanut butter down uh -huh. the middle of it or whatever. But, and that's um, still, you know, substitute almond butter for peanut butter, that's a great snack. You know, what, peanuts not so good in your mind? Peanuts are, have an issue because they, I mean. I know there's a lot of people allergic to them too. A lot of people are allergic to it, but when there's, there's some mold that um, they can develop when they're in storage. Uh, okay. And so it can upset some people's systems. Right. Not everybody can do peanuts. But almonds are pretty darn good, and like I said, it's one of the super almonds energy are, foods. Yeah, I love almonds. All right, I guess we need to take a break. When we come back, uh, Anna, Jewel, Bob, and others will get to your calls right after this. So don't hang up. Stay right there.